Good afternoon, everybody. It's Ann Katzoff of Ask Design. Welcome. Today's tutorial is displaying category pages in WordPress. Displaying category pages is a great benefit of using categories and tags to organize your content. A category page lists all of the posts assigned to a specific category. This is a nice assist to users who are interested in a particular topic, thus improving their overall experience on the site. In addition, category pages enhance the site SEO, which is search engine optimization. The first thing we'll do is view posts from a single category as a logged in administrator. When logged into the WordPress site, go to Posts and All Posts to view a list of all the posts. The list can be filtered by title, author, I'm the only author on my blog, categories, we'll get to that in a sec, tags, and date. You'll notice that the list changes depending on what I click on. There are two ways to filter the list by category. The first is to go to the All Categories submenu and choose a category. Click on it, Web Design, and then click on the Filter button. The list resorts based on your choice. The second option is to click on a label in the Categories column. So for example, we're in Web Design right now. If we click on Typography, this Web Design will change accordingly, typography, or graphic design. It changed to graphic design. A similar approach can be used with the tags. So if I click on Adobe Illustrator, the list resorts based on that tag. Pretty sweet filtering there. Now all of that was for uh, a logged in administrator. For users to see a single category displaying on the front end, you can create a new menu item. This will provide easy access to the posts in a specific category. Let's go to Appearance, Menus. At the top, make sure you've chosen the Edit Menus tab and the menu that you actually want to edit. In the Add Menus Add menu items area. You can see all these different options. We'll go to the categories option, view all tab, select the category, click the add to menu button. The category will automatically be added to the bottom of the list. You can reposition it anywhere you want. When you're done and you're sure you like it, be sure to save menu by clicking this Save Menu button. On my blog, I have three categories in my navigation menu, Web Design, Graphic Design, and Art. If necessary, you could add a new menu item manually. Here's one way to do it. We first need to find what the URL uh, uh, is for a specific category. So let's go to Posts and the category section. When you hover over one of the names, you get these options. Hovering over the view link and look at the bottom left side of your screen will give you that URL, but it's actually much simpler to actually click on that link to get to that list. Go up to the address bar in the browser, copy that, which puts it in your clipboard. You can then paste that information, that address, into a post, um, a page, or menu, or a widget. So let's show you how to do it in a menu. We'll go back to the menu area under Appearance and Menus. Again, make sure you're uh, in the Edit Menus tab and you've got the correct menu that you want to edit. Under Add Menu Items, instead of Categories, we'll go to Custom Links, paste that link right in there, give it a, a, a label, 
we'll say Art Example, Add to Menu. Once again, it's added to the bottom of the list. You can reposition it any way you want. And then remember to save that menu. In this case, I'm going to open it up and remove it. I don't really want it. I'm just showing you how to do it. You can also paste the URL address, as I mentioned, into a page or a post or a widget. And your active theme may have widgets in certain areas that you want to use. Uh, let's explore using a widget under Appearance. Go to the Widgets area. I have categories here. We'll put it into the primary sidebar. Select that. Add widget. It gets placed at the bottom of that list in the sidebar. Categories list. Then you have these options to display as a drop-down, show post count, show hierarchy. You can choose one or more of those and then click Save. Or if you change your mind, click Delete. There may be other widgets that you like, so look around. Your theme will have different ones from mine. Custom HTML. Pages, and again, your widgets may be different from mine. So look around and um, see what your options are. And that, my friends, wraps up how to display category pages in WordPress. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, please share in the comments section below. And I hope this tutorial was of use. Thank you very much.